Hi, I'm uh, Thomas from Exo Electronics, and uh, we're with the Analog Zone at Super Booth, and uh, uh, I will show you my booth and my uh, sequencer. So I, I made I made a Eurorack sequencer uh, with a. Uh, 12 uh, CV outputs, 6 trigger outputs, and 8 tracks, sample output possibility, and uh, the sequencer itself is uh, based on a tracker, like a uh, fast tracker or Game Boy trackers like Lil Sound DJ, if you know it. And uh, it's, it's generally, you have like different tracks, and you go into the tracks, and you can have put the, put the notes in there, and it runs from top to below and you sequence with it. There's 64 steps, uh, 170 patterns uh, and endless sequence of rows to make more than just loops. You can make real songs with it uh, together. So, I have for example one voice uh, with a, like a standard Dupfer voice and a sequence uh, uh, with a sequencer. You see the music notes. You can change the modulations, uh, I connected it now to the filter, you can hear it, and it runs good now with uh, 32 steps. Another track, I have like samples loaded in there, and you can uh, load in wave, wave samples and change the pitch and everything, so you can just sequence your samples and I loaded some drums in there. You can simply, there's a live mode, so you can simply trigger patterns uh, for next to play, like I do with the, with the samples. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have uh, four inputs, you can pre-assign the inputs to every parameter that's uh, possible. Every step, uh, every track can run independent from each other, so you can also do really weird polyrhythmic stuff and, uh, with every track, so they don't have to be synchronized with each other. So that's uh, really easy possible. Uh, you can uh, have uh, like a special kind of tables, uh, you can uh, assign wave tables with it. So you can make like this typical uh, uh, arpeggio sounds that you know from uh, old, uh, old chip tune uh, game stuff. Uh, but then also you can make it really complex and instead of uh, transpose you can have like uh, use the cutoff and really do re weird uh, filter sequencing. Uh, one, one special thing is uh, with, together with the CV outputs, you can also have like expansion cartridges and have some cartridges from uh, regular desktop synthesizers that are out there. And it's really a synthesizer in a cartridge. And once they are connected, they are totally integrated in the sequencer. And I have, for example, the Miblip cartridge. And I start the sequence. I go to the tracker screen, I go to the patch screen of the cartridge and you can change every parameter of the real uh, Miblip actually. Change the cutoff. And you can do that also in the track with every step, you can manipulate every parameter of everything actually. So yeah. There will be, there will be several uh, uh, cartridges and there's gonna be more and more cartridges so yeah clock input output uh, yeah that's that's basically uh, rough uh, what it is very complex sequencer and it will be available uh, in the summer so this is like uh, first uh, running for around uh, between five to six hundred euros so yeah